comes after multiple guns have been found on school campuses this school year. CBS 17's Maggie Newland is getting answers live for us tonight. And Maggie, what's next for the district's plans? During a school year in which multiple Wake County schools have dealt with lockdowns, threats, and even guns on school grounds, the director of school security for the district talked about the results of a recent security assessment. The most important thing that we have is security in place are not uh, the policies and procedures and or uh, the, uh, the physical security. It's the relationship that our students have with our, our administration and our teachers. After guns have been brought on school campuses, including what police say was a loaded AR-15 at a basketball game last week, some parents want to know whether the district will use metal detectors. I can't really tell you what's in the assessment, but I'm going to tell you what's not in the assessment. Metal detectors and or weapon detection systems are not in the assessment. Still, Security Director Russ Smith says all options are on the table, but he says he can't provide a lot of specifics. We don't want to give a roadmap for somebody uh, of, of our vulnerabilities. And there are some vulnerabilities out there, and we're working very hard to address all of them. One improvement he can talk about, a district-wide visitor screening system. Uh, this system will check against the sex offender registry, anybody that comes on campus. Uh, it also means for us to track uh, who's on campus. But it also allows us, if there's a custodial dispute or a domestic violence order against someone, that we have that in the system and that will alert us if somebody like that comes on campus. He also talked about training specific staff members, including athletic directors, and asked parents to encourage their children to report any threats or concerns. The district is also working with law enforcement teams to identify processes and locations to reunify students and their families if there's an incident that requires that. In Cary, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.